Welcome to Bollywood Post, where we bring you the latest gossip in Bollywood. I'm your host, Kavita Sean. Let's check out what's going on in Bollywood this week. After Hollywood was turned upside down from the news of the sexual harassment cases against Harvey Weinstein, many others have shared their views on the matter. This also includes many Bollywood stars, as they are aware that such behavior also occurs on their home front. After many years, the voices of victims of Harvey Weinstein are being heard, and this has drummed up much chatter around the world. Stars in Bollywood, including Sunny Leone and Arbaz Khan, speak up on their views. They know that this type of behavior goes on, and women and men alike can be affected by it. They hope that anyone who is victimized will not be afraid to stand up for themselves and make this kind of behavior come to an end. Anil Kapoor has gotten some negative attention from Mumbai's governing body, the BMC, and the result led to the demolition of his office space in the city. Mr. Kapoor had built his office space outside the code the city permits. He used some high partitions that were not properly approved, and the BMC did not let it slide. They demolished four structures within the office space and put a hold on a car showroom that was in the process of being constructed. Poor guy, at least he can be excited about his current project, Fanny Khan with Ashwarya Rai. We hope he gets his office space sorted out soon. Farish Ravel has taken a turn from his career in Bollywood to one in politics. But his funny quips are not taken to as kindly in his new profession. He recently got himself in some hot water over a seemingly innocent comment. The royals of Rajput were not so happy with our friend Parej. He apparently compared the royals and their music to monkeys, which didn't sit well with many from the area. He was immediately warned over his statement and he promptly apologized. He said his comment was not aimed towards the royals but towards the Nizam of Hyderabad. Either way, he did not mean to offend anyone and apologized if he did. We hope that his apology will be well received. Balaj Nirlani, the former chief of the CBFC, is all set to release his first film as a producer, Julie 2. And there have been rumors that the film revolves around the life of a somewhat forgotten 90s actress. Julie 2 tells the story of experiences faced by actresses in Bollywood. However, many draw similarities between the events in the film and 90s actress Nagma's life. When approached on the matter, Nagma was surprised and indicated she has not been told of such a correlation. I guess we'll have to wait to see after the film's release if more information is shared on any true connection or if these are just coincidences. The controversy around the upcoming film Padmavati is now reaching ridiculous heights. A bounty has been placed on Deepika Padukone's head, and the BJP Babu Supriyo thinks it has gone too far. There have been so many protesters of the film and how history has been handled in the film, but to threaten the life of one of the actors in the film is absurd. There is such a thing as creative freedom, and those who are against the way the film portrays the story of Padmavati have just gone too far. There have been many pushing to ban the film completely, and Deepika has spoken out against these groups. Perhaps she should have held her tongue to keep her head. In any case, we hope you stay safe, Deepika. Akshay Khanna was given loads of praise for his work in the film Ittifaq. However, one small mistake has caused that praise to turn into criticism. On the posters promoting the film, Akshay is seen smoking a cigarette. This has not gone over well with the Delhi Health Department. They have issued a compliance notice to the producers of the film, stating that the promotional material for the film is out of compliance for promoting smoking. This may seem extreme, but with so many youth in India looking to Bollywood for role models, it is better to be safe than sorry. I hope you enjoyed this week's Bollywood Post. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Bollywood updates.